It is a storm moving through. Woke us up at 4 a.m. So we thought it was a strobe light on the boat, but it was just this massive storm that's moving through. today moving further south down to big farmers key because near there is the two mile or mile long sandy beach which is like a sandbar thing that runs out we're gonna check that out tomorrow morning at low tide or maybe even tonight at low tide we'll see but in the meantime we're gonna get try to get tucked in through all these shallows and all that nonsense and we'll see how well it goes All right, we made it to Big Farmer's Key. Just a couple miles from the mile long sandbar, which we'll go to tomorrow when the tide is right. But as you can see here, it's a pretty clear spot. And it's just us, no one else, our own private key. For free. Swimming dog. Good job, Arya. Save Jessica. No? Just checking on her? You could walk. But you like swimming? So we are anchored here, but that is our anchor facing that way. First time we saw this, we thought it was really weird. And it's still kind of weird because uh, the anchor's facing that way. You can kind of see it here. The chain curves around and comes up here. So the only thing keeping us in place right now is the chain. The anchor's doing nothing until the wind picks up or current shifts or something like that. We'd seen that other people had evidence of having fires on the beach here. So, I figured we'd have a fire on the beach because there's no one else around. It's just us, and it's cool. So, Bahamas Beach Fire. It's not cold enough to need a fire. You can see the sheen, <laughs> but it's the light. Perfect temperature and for me. The ambiance. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey Ryan, what you doing? I'm working on a mount for our projector so we can put it up so we can actually use it without having to like balance it on books and stuff. So we're waiting for the tide to go down so we can go to the two mile sandbar here and in the meantime, do a, do a, do a boat project, why not? We're at the mile long sandbar. Right now it's not a mile long. Tide's still going out though, so maybe it'll get there. There's, uh, we've been trying to avoid tour groups. So we've been uh, going to our boat for the first one. Now there's an another, they're not tours, it's just a private boat. But it's mostly to ourselves. The tide's still going down. Uh, I got some drone footage, got some photos, and now we're just gonna walk. 
and ch check it out. Jessica, found. Put him in the light. A starfish! And it looks to me like a deputy's badge. He's still alive. Who's the sheriff around these here parts? Hold on, hold on. You can't be the sheriff without a hat. Who's the sheriff around these here parts? Well, I guess she is. Alright, back to the water with you. in Compass Key and here is our view. So we are anchored right here and then tomorrow we're gonna go to Rocky Dundas Caves right here. So here we are with our dinghy tied up to a mooring ball outside the Rocky Dundas Caves. The Rocky Dundas Caves are positioned right in a large tidal flow area and there's a ton of current it's not slack tied. You can see here that the current is strong enough to spin the dinghy propeller. Because of the current and our lack of fins, I tied a lead line from the dinghy to a rock in the cave to make it easier for Jessica to get in and out of the, with the waves and the current while being pregnant. The littlest beach. Looks like people were here already today. Climbing around. That one looks like a skull up there. So like tights. Entrance. This is super cool. We didn't come at slack today because it was uh, storming. But this is definitely worth seeing. All right, back into the water. Jessica's working hard on the videos, editing from her office chair here. Not a bad view. Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> There's a storm moving through. Woke us up at like 4 a.m. Boom, 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 flash, flash, flash. We thought it was a strobe light on the boat, but it was just this massive storm that's moving through. The wind seems pretty calm right now, so I'm not too worried about it shifting on us, but the storm's moving from east to west and we're in a west to east protected anchorage. Um, but the wind is still blowing west to east. It's kind of a weird situation right now and 4 a.m. we're not getting any sleep because we're kind of monitoring what's going on with the lightning. It's 360 degrees right now. It's not that loud. It's just very bright and uh, dramatic.
So the storm hit us. The uh, wind shifted around and picked up as a cell moved through. Then another one's going to be moving through. So far, we seem to be pretty well protected uh, by our chosen anchorage because the wind shifted to favor the way that we anchored. Uh, but the thunder has gotten louder, more lightning, and uh, the rain is picking up right now. So there wasn't supposed to be hardly any winds, but it was gusting near 20. Uh, and it's changing directions a lot. So if it gets real bad, we'll have to move the boat somewhere more protected or use the engines. But it's, the, it's 4 50 in the morning, and it's too dark to want to do much. So we'll see how it goes. Woo! Okay, the storm is passing. It's like six o'clock in the morning, so the sun's starting to light up the sky. There's still storms behind me, but I think they're gonna blow around. It was an interesting two and a half hours, and I think it's done now, so I'm gonna go get some sleep. It's as big as your head. <laughs> Got a starfish on you. <laughs> It's a big starfish. Take a look at it. Huge. Hey, don't eat it. It's not a true uh, toy. It's soft right here. Aria! Jessica! And Ryan! There's something growing! Let's see what it is. Without sandals on. Catch! Ready? Very hard fruits. Let's see, that one's more ripe. It's very, very hard. I never I have no idea what that is. I smell it. Oh yeah. This area is called Rachel's Bubble Bath. We had heard about this area from other cruisers where deep water rolls over the rocks and splashes into the pool, aerating the water like a bubble bath. The thing is, we were told it was on a completely different key. So as we were exploring this northern part of Compass Key, we found a place that was remarkably similar to what was described to us as Rachel's Bubble Bath. We figured that maybe this was just a similar area to what was described to us as Rachel's bubble bath, so we jumped in and went for a swim. And later we found out that this actually was the right place. Rachel's bubble bath is on the northern part of Compass Key. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video and consider subscribing if you're new and would like to see more videos. Until next time.
at the sunset. <laughs>